In this video, we will be synthesizing 2,3-quinoxylene dione, an interesting cyclic compound from the reaction of orthophenylenediamine and oxalic acid. A quick note on safety, orthophenylenediamine is both toxic and carcinogenic, so it is important that you handle it with the utmost of care. I was wearing an ABEK respirator and working in a well-ventilated area. Without further ado, let's see the chemistry. In terms of chemicals, you will need 20% hydrochloric acid, orthophenylenediamine, and oxalic acid dihydrate, which is sold as a wood bleach. First, 15 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate was dissolved in 77.5 milliliters of water with stirring. The solution is then brought to a boil using a heating mantle. To this mixture is then added 43 milliliters of 20% hydrochloric acid and 11 grams of orthophenylenediamine with strong stirring. mixture is then brought back to the heating mantle and reflux for 20 minutes. During this time, I had to switch from my non-stirring heating mantle to my stirring heating mantle. This reaction tends to form a foam of crystals. It is, it, as such, it is important that you use a large flask, at least 500 milliliters. I used a 250 milliliter flask and found out the hard way that the crystals will easily fill the condenser and need to be washed down with water. The crystals filled about one quarter of the condenser and needed to be washed down with about two milliliters of water each time, around five times over the course of the reflux. The reaction solution is poured onto 50 grams of ice to rapidly cool it to room temperature. The flask and condenser are also rinsed with a little water to transfer any crystals to the speaker. The crystals are filtered off from the solution and rinsed with around 100 milliliters of room temperature water. The product presents itself as a pasty gray crystalline solid before drying. The product is dried in low heat with this electric heater. Once it's done drying, after about 4 hours, we obtain 13.12 grams of gray crystals, which corresponds to an 80.5% yield. The compound fails to melt at 250 C. The literature states that the compound melts at above 340 C, but my melting point oil can only go to 300 degrees Celsius. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my social media.